hello guys you welcome back to our demo for today um so in this demo we are going to create a simple um spring boot api where that will enables us to actually upload multiple files at a, at a go um to a file directory so for that i'm going to go to intellij i'm going to generate a brand new project from intellij here um in case you are not using intellij you can just go to here you can go to google and just type in um this one here let me zoom in a little bit so you can just type in here um spring initializer and when this comes up you're going to see this link so you just follow this link here and um just click on this link and actually go here to generate a brand new project so after generating this project you can you kind of um um you can just um um generate um save it to your system and actually open with any favorite id that you you want to use but for me i'm using intellij so for that i'm going to i'm going to um generate this project using intellij so this project i'm going to call spring spring um spring boot uh, spring boot multiple files i'm going to call these files upload and uh demo so i'm going to choose where to save this um there's the here i'm going to choose this folder and just save it here so here of course we're using java but i'm going to use um i'm going to change from gradle to maven and as usual we're going to change this one here to uh to our domain daily daily code daily code work right um so have you done this now i'm just going to click on next so the only dependency we're going to need here is um the Lombok and this Spring Web. So we just to generate. And this one I'm going to open on this window. So here we see that our application has been generated. So what we're just going to do here is to, I'm going to close down this page here. And uh, let's open up our project. Open the source folder, the main and Java. So let's right click this main uh, package and create a new package here. So this package, I'm just going to call it upload. Upload, then hit enter. And I'm going to right click on enter on um, upload and create a new class, right? So this one here, I'm just going to say, um, it's an interface actually. So I'm just going to call it file upload um, service file upload service so this is the interface we are going to this is the service um, interface that we are going to um that we're going to declare all the signature of the method that we'll be using here right so like i said if we open our palm here oh yes add to gate and always do this if we open our palm file we see that in here we just have the web dependency and lombok right um, these two here these are just the only dependencies we have here because um, this project we are we are not going to work with database we're just going to upload our file to to our system directory that's what we're going to do in this uh, demo so now i'm going to we're going to uh, create some method here that we're going to work with throughout this project so let's go with this public void in it so now this project what this method what is going to do sorry so what this method is going to do is to help us initialize the directory that we are going to that we are going to save our files when the application gets started right so now we are going to go to the second one called public now this one here is actually the method that is going to save the file to database we're just going to make this void void save and we are going to give it the multi-part um multi parts yeah this one here and we're going to call it file so um the other one here is a method that we help us uh, get a file by name right so we're just going to say resource um this one here is going to come from spring spring core and uh, we're going to call this get get file get file by name and we're going to pass in the name of the file right so we just say file name we just say file name 
And the next one we're going to create here is um, another method that we can use to. This one's going to be void as well. Delete. Delete all. So this method here, we're going to use it to delete every file from our system if we want to do that. Then the last one we're going to create is a method that will actually help us to um, to get to retrieve every file we have in our system, right? So we're just going to say this stream um path and this one is going to be we're going to just call this load all files load all files like so so now these are the few one two three four five so these are the five methods we're going to work with in, throughout this application so having done this now i'm going to we're going to create um we're going to create another method that we actually another class actually that we actually implement this interface that we have we have generated we have created here so for that i'm going to create a class called um file upload service so this this time this one is going to be a class right file upload file upload service and this one here is going to implement it's going to implement the i file service um, interface we've just created this one here and i'm just going to hit um hit alt enter and enter again then enter again to actually implement all the method we have created in the interface right so now we are going to start implementing this method one after the other so the first thing here we're going to do here is to we are going to create a field here um that will actually hold the path that we're going to create so we're going to say private final path right and so we're going to name this here as root directory right and we're going to say equal path dot get and this one we're going to call um uploads uploads so this is the name of the directory we're going to create that we're going to upload all the files that we're going to be uploading into so now let's go inside the method and actually implement this so we're going to have the trial cache and out here i'm going to put the curly braces so now we're just going to say file we're going to check before we do this we're going to check if actually um if that directory exists so we're going to say temp directory equals um new um may why yeah this one here new file dot so new file and then we're going to we're going to pass the directory that we try to create in there to check if that directory actually um so we can find a way to check if that directory already exists right so now we're going to say root directory root directory dot two uri this one here this one here now having done this now we're going to have a boolean variable um so we're going to call this one directory exist exists equals temp dot exist so the next we're going to do here we're going to check so if so now if the directory does not exist then it should create a directory but if it exists it should don't it should not it should, it should, it should, there's no need of recreating it right so we just want to say if not directory if not directory exists then create the directory for us here so we're going to say files dot create directory and now we just pass in the directory we want to create so we say root directory this one here so um so now we're going to catch we're going to catch the exception that we're going to catch this io exception um here exception this one here and we're just going to call this e and now we're going to we're going to throw a new runtime exception runtime exception so we're just going to say error creating directory 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 
and here is this one correct oh my gosh this one uh, let me stick here let me put g here okay so this is all about this so what we just did here is that we're going to when the application runs we're going to create a directory where, where, where we're going to upload the, the the files that are going to be uploaded right now we're going to check if that directory already exists then don't create it but if the directory does not exist then create it right okay cool now uh, we're going to move down to the method that we actually do this the work of the saving of this file right so what we're just going to do there is to we're going to get try a catch as well then here we're just going to say catch catch anything that may that may that may comes back to us right okay now um so we're just going to say file this one here dot copy copy path so now we're going to say file dot get original name Oh, sorry <laughs> it's been built stream so we're going to actually try to copy the um the uploaded file which is the stream the this the byte stream right the byte um data right so now we have going to say we're going to call the directory that we have um created which is the root directory and this one here we're going to resolve dot resolve here and this one we're going to pass our file dot get original name right file dot get original name so we try to resolve the name that is when the, the the file we're going to upload so we're going to try to check the name right um so now we're just going to terminate here so having done that we're just going to come here to to catch so we're going to catch here let's just make a general exception say e and we throw something here so we just they kind of throw uh, new your time exception this one here and we're just going to pass in error error uploading um uploading error uploading files so this is just the line of code we need to actually copy this to actually copy this one to our um to our system directory so let's make this one okay let's make this like this okay um so the next one we're going to create we're going to implement is actually the method that we find um, a file by name so this one here we're just going to say we, we're going to write this in try cache as well like so so we say path I path equals root directory dot resolve and we're going to pass in the file name the sorry um file name i need a new keyboard all right so we'll do this and uh, have we done this now we're going to come back we're going to come down here to um say resource from spring framework oh, oh take this down right hope we're not doing so. okay let me just put the cache for us not to have any problem so like so okay cool so now i'm going to call this one resource resource equals new you are array resource so now we're going to pass in the file um the file path here dot two oh this is dot oh, sorry if i pass dot to uri this one here and have we done this now we're going to that we're going to check this one here because this file here is actually trying to get is, this method is actually trying to get a file by the name so now we are trying to check if that file exists if the if the file that if the name of the file that was passed in actually exists if yes so is that file readable if yes then we should return it back right so let's have this if resource dot exist 
why am I always pressing call myself dot dot exist? So this one is exist, right? And because we're going to check for two conditions here, and resource is readable. If the resource is readable, then return the resource just like that. Then return um, resource. Yeah. So have done this. We're just going to say um, if that is not the case. So this is uh, if s. So let's say if that is not the case, then then throw new runtime exception. The runtime exception. And what is the exception? We just say could not um, could not read file. Could not read file like so could not read file so the next thing we're going to do here is to the next thing we're going to do here is to so now we're going to cache we're going to cache the exception here so we're just going to cache um this time around we're going to cache my function exception uh, my function url exception right malformed sorry <laughs> not malfunction malform url exception so we're just going to um throw this we're gonna throw this um new runtime new runtime exception and then we're just going to say um error error so this time around i'm going to get the message dot get message like so and now i'm just going to remove this un unreachable return unreachable code okay so um the next one we're going to do here the next one we're going to do here is a method to actually delete every file from our database so this method is going to not actually database from our directory right so um now we're just going to say um files just one out of code we need to do this right oh my gosh what's happening with my keyboard okay files that um file, no, this one is file system util we're going to say file system file system utils dot delete recursively i love this method here and we're just going to say um root directory that will pass in this one here dot to file yeah so this is just the method that we need to delete every file from our system from our um from our system directory right and um have done this the last one we're going to do here is uh, the method that we actually load um, that is going to load um, all the files from the system, from our, uh, from our application system, right? Our file system. We're, we're still going to wrap, wrap them in a try and catch block. So here we say catch, right? I will just get the braces here. So here we're going to return files, files.work. Walk through the path. Mm, sorry <laughs> yeah walk through the part as well so it's supposed to be directory so this dot directory the root directory and because the file are right here in the root directory so it's just the depth of that is one so we're going to fetch uh, sorry we're going to filter and uh, here we're going to pass in so now we're going to just say path not pass dot equal let me break this down so we can see it clearly product equal this dot directory and then we're going to come down here to map I'm going to break this down also break down the map so we're going to map this the dot directory and we're going to call 
the relative um, path to this and now so we're going to catch let's catch the exception so here we're just going to say io exception because it's going to throw this one here input output exception um so we're going to throw throw new runtime new runtime exception and we're going to have code Don't load files okay and then i'm going to remove this i'm going to let's format this page this code yeah reformat uh, maybe the entire page let me just um format file here yeah. whole file just format the whole of the file yeah just do this for me okay so um let me zoom in uh, zoom out a little bit so this is all we okay this guy actually formatted this and stretch everything i break down all right so this is the method that we help us to load every file from our file path and this one here is a method to delete every file from our file path or file directory and this is the method that will help us get a single file by name and this one here is a method that will actually save the file i'm going to break this down because i formatted it so it stretches everything so this one here is going to save it's going to copy all the file and save them to the directory we're going to create and this one here is the method that we actually is that is actually going to create the directory for us right so now the next one we're going to do here is to create the controller So here we're going to right click on this package again and create a um, file upload controller so we're going to call file upload upload controller file upload controller and uh, this one is going to is going to be rest sorry at rest controller and we're, we're, go we're going to give it request request mapping and this one we're going to call files files right and now we're going to we're going to take get a handle on the service we just created so we're going to say i file service according to interface so this one we'll call file upload service sorry this one is going to be final because we're going to do constructor injection so for that we're going to just come here to annotate this with the lombok annotation at required at required add constructor this one here um what happened cannot auto wire okay all right we forgot to annotate this it's not a bean so cannot auto wire it okay cool so this one is, is it has become a bin so now it can auto wire right cool so now the next thing we're going to do here is to is to actually um create the method that will do this job for us so we'll just say public um respond um, this one here we're going to call we're going to return response entity um response 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 entity i'm sorry this one here and we're going to say file response we're going to call this one file response res we're going to create this method in a moment file response right file response so now we're going to say upload upload files we're going to call this method upload files and it's going to take the multi part and we're going to call this one files right so before we go before we move further we're just going to we're going to create this uh, class here um just going to go here and create this class inside the same package because this is a small demo there's no point of creating too many packages right 
so i'm just gonna put it here so the only thing we need from here is just the the the, the, the name of the file and the file url so just a private file name and we say private string url and then we're going to i'm just going to have this annotation here this lombok annotation because i don't want to generate any getter setters and i don't want to generate any constructor so i just want to say use um, annotation to generate them all to do all this for us right so we're going to close this down and now we're going to come back in here to actually start um, continue with the implementation of this so here we're going to call we're going to wrap this in try a cache in case of any problem we just cache it right catch and like so so now we're going to call we're going to iterate through this um okay this one is going to be array because multiple files so we're going to um before i forget let's complete this i this one is going to this file here is going to be a request param right so we say at request request params and we're going to have the file here file right yeah let me zoom uh, zoom out a little bit and maybe extend our window um so now i'm ju we're just going to iterate through the all the files that has been that have been um staged to be to be copied to be saved to our directory so for that i'm just going to call the arrays array dot stream we're going to stream them and we're going to pass in the files here files right then we're going to say dot for each so now for this one here we're going to call the method we actually uh, the method we declared last time in the service is what we're going to use right now so for that we're going to we have it here already we have the um the object of our um, service class here already so we're just going to say um file upload service dot oh sorry this is dot save dot save file so we're going to pass in the file here save file yeah so this all what but there's something i want to do here i really want to get the name of all the files that we are uploaded to be returned after the upload so here i'm going to get a list of string that we're going to collect all the names inside so we're just going to say file file names file names equals so we're going to say this one equals to new we're going to initialize this to a new array like so and when this when this file has been saved so we're going to call we're going to get their names to actually um we're going to add the, all their names to this uh, variable and we, uh, we actually um we're going to display them back to the user right though it's not necessary i just want to see them but this one is not um it's not a prerequisite it's not necessary for us to do but I ju i'm just doing this because i just want to just for doing sake so now we're going to come here to define i'm going to define a variable up here that will actually hold a message for us that we can use to oh sorry what have i done so this one is shift enter to move to a new line intellij so now i'm just going to say string message and i'm going to initialize this to none initialize to none uh then right here i'm going to come down here to say message equal um, so what we're going to declare here, we're going to tell the user that the files have been uploaded successfully. Files, and this one is going to be um, maybe one file or maybe um, more than one file. So that's what we're going to do here. Uploaded. Uploaded successfully. Files uploaded successfully then we are going to return this message right to the user so we just say return return response response entity dot hmm. this is like so and this one we're going to let's get the static import of this then we get the body here 
and for that we're going to just return a new file response this this guy here yeah this one here actually so we're gonna return this and just pass in the message like so um actually not this one we're gonna return mm, file response not not this one we, we're going to return i made a mistake we're going to here um, this one we're going to return a message to the user but this one we're doing here now is to return this one we're supposed to use later but uh, i'm going to change this to response message i'm going to change this to response message um yeah response message message here so fire response message so now i'm going to we're going to create this class this one is in, it's going to be a new class in the same package like i said so this one here, what we're just going to have here is just one, um, it's just one, we're going to have one field here, just the message. So we're going to call this one, the message, uh, actually it's going to be a field variable. Um, so here we're just going to say private, we're going to field, field here. Okay. So this one also we're going to have the data because we actually need the getter setter of it too, and we we, we also need the um, the R constructor as well, right? And uh, for this we're going to come back here to say this one should be file this one here and pass in the message. So that's what we need. Now we're going to import the static do the static importation from this one here okay so this is what we need here now we're going to catch but this message here this success message because you know last time i said we're going to return the name of the string which is the, which is the name we have already gathered here that is the name um the name of the files that we have saved to the directory so i'm just going to append it here um so let's say file name file names like so so i'm going to give a space here um okay let's give it a little space so now we're going to display along with the names of the file then now we're going to catch we're going to catch exception let's just make it general so catch exception e and in here we're going to say return return response response dot status so this we're going to call expectation failed Boom. and then we're going to get the body as usual body and then we're going to pass new um this guy here to actually get the message here and but what i'm just going to do here is to is to um is to return this E dot get message let's return this message here e dot get message from the exception here let's try to get the actual message that is thrown right so i'm going to terminate and just um let's a little bit uh, arrange our code so um this one is and is the method that we actually save that we upload the file so this one is going to be a post mapping and the endpoint here, I'm just going to give here as um, upload. Upload. Is this spell of upload? <laughs> upload. My professor will kill me if I spell this upload. So, upload files, right? Like so. So, now what we're going to do here is to. Um, is to move down to actually. Um, to implement the method that is going to find a file by name okay here okay so let's go down here so here we have public so this method is going to find is going to retrieve a single file by name right so here response entity as usual and this one we're going to say file upload response which is the one last time we miss we mistakenly use this one here file response right because this one is going to give it's going to give uh, it's going to return the actual file right so here we just say get file get file by by name and here we're going to pass the name of the file here called file 
I'm sorry, file name, file name, and this one is going to be a path variable. So let's say at path variable, path variable, this one here, and after this, we're going to let's quickly annotate this before we forget. So this one is is is, is a get mapping, um, like so. I'm oh, sorry like so and this one here we're just going to say file F this is going to be file and we're going to um pass in the file name so we'll say file name like so all right so what next we're going to do here is actually going to come in here to to actually get the file we're going to return right so let's say resource here Mm, resource yeah this one here i'm going to call this one resource equals um file upload service dot dot get file by name and we're just going to pass in the file name here right so we're going to return return response entity and dot okay then we get the body right so now we okay and dot so right now we're actually going to get the header the header of the we're going to do the, the um get the header of that form that is we're just going to say um not the form the request the http header content right so we're going to say um dot header header string and in here we're going to say http um http headers http headers this one here dot content disposition this one here we need right and then we pass in declare a string called attachment is this parent of attachment i'm wrong here okay and um, i'm going to break let's break this down let's break it down and now we're going to have this here and file name called this one here oh my gosh a mistake bro so here we're going to the same inside we'll just put here and say file name file name but we're going to escape we're going to escape this and we say we're going to actually append the file the file name here so we're going to say file this resource what well, the, the class resource right resource dot get name dot get name um let's let's break this down as well let's break it down here get name then i've done this here we're still going to we're going to pass in and we're going to break we're going to escape this too and after that we're going to see that body right that body then we pass in file um not file resource we we'll declare this as resource right um okay so here we just have to terminate what happened here required response entity file response provided okay um where is it required response entity okay sorry i made a mistake here so this resource so i'm sorry guys so this resource supposed to because we are returning we are returning resource here so here okay so and uh, the next thing we're going to do here so now we are done with this very with this uh, method but this method here is the one to find the single one so now let's declare the last method which is number three method that we actually get every file we have in our in our system directory so here we're just going to say um, response entity so we're going to have the list 
list of that right so this time around we're going to make use of that uh, this file response this one here because this one where is this file response file response the what is it this one okay here so now we need the, this two we need the the name of the file and the url so that's what we're going to use here right now um so now we just say load all files from here and so we're just going to get the list of files so list of file response what is it this one here mm, we're just we're just going to call this one file we're just going to call this one files files right equals file um here with file service where's the file service file this one here service dot dot load all files like so then this one here we're going to map all the file because we are we're going to convert this file here to to this guy here right so we can return we get the name and everything here so therefore that we're going to map so we're going to map and um here um, i think i have to break let's break this let's break down this map here map so we're gonna say file not uh, file so we're gonna put this one here um like so and now we're going to we're going to get the name we're going to get the name of the file and the and the very and i mean the name of the file and the file url right so this one here is not part this one we're going to let's name make this let's name this variable um, um let's make it reasonably so the last method we're going to create here is a method that we actually um, return all the list the list of all every file we have in our system right that the ones we have uploaded so to speak so response response entity and here we say list and we say file response this one here so now we're going to make use of this so we'll say load all oh, sorry no load all load all files like so so we're going to go here to take the list the list of file response file response so we're going to call this one files right equals file service dot load all files now because now we are trying to we are trying to return this guy here so we, are trying, we want to convert all the files we have loaded from our system to this guy so we can return them right so now we're going for that we're going to we're going to map we're going to map them in order to convert them here so we're just going to map we're going to say file no that's not what i want um i think we have we've got this variable before we've, we've not we've not gotten it so um let me break it down break it down here so here we're just going to get the name of the file right string name string file name file name equals um equals file equals um so this one here we just say equals files file dot get name i don't really like this this is files um get name no not this one here this part file here to get name then we're going to so we're going to come back here say string uh, what's happening here it's my string 
okay so here we're going to get the string the url so what we're just going to go here is the name of the file and the link to download the file that's what we're going to that's what we're trying to we're trying to get right so we'll just say here now we're going to build the link but, but what is happening here require string provided path um so this one here we're going to just say to string let's put it up to string right so this one here right now we're actually going to build we're going to build the link that the url to actually um download the file right so here dot from dot from method name so here we're going to call this class here because the method is in this class so we're going to call this class we are working on so what is the name of this class is file upload controller so we'll say file upload controller dot class and uh, let's break this down break it down dot class then we are going to pass in the method that we're going to use to actually fetch these files so for that we're going to copy the method where this one here we're going to copy and paste here then after this we're going to have um i think i have to break this down too let's break it down so we're going to have file dot dot get file name um this one here i'm going to change this one here this 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 name doesn't make sense to me i made a mistake i make i want to make it clearer so don't confuse what we're doing here so this one here actually is the path that we are navigating through to actually get all the files right so now what we're just going to do here after getting this we're going to say dot to string this one here the file name dot to string and um so then we, we're gonna go out here and build right dot build and dot to string right so i'm going to let's break it down also and then we we'll actually terminate so what next we're going to do here is to return is to return this very file response with what we have gotten so far file response sorry return new new file response we're going to create a new object of it new file response this one here and then we're going to pass in the the name which is the file name and the url sorry the url so like so then after this um required list provided stream okay okay we are going to we're going to we're going to collect everything to list right we convert them we convert this uh, we are converting this the all the files we are getting from here we are converting them to this type then we are collecting them to a list right so here we're going to say dot collection or that collects to list but we, uh, here i'm just going to say i'm going to use the static import yeah let's use static import from here after that let's return let's actually return the response so return um response response dot status the status and this one just gonna say okay get static import then dot body then the body also is going to be the file response um here this one here where is it this one will return it right so getting the files here this one here okay um so now I think I should let's format the code. Let's reformat. Okay, cool. So I think this is the theory method we just need to have to actually do this, get this job done. So for now, um, the next thing we're going to do. So we have created this. We've created this. We've created this. We've created this, and we have created this. So the next thing we're going to do here is to actually test run our project. So let's see what we have done so far. So if we have any mistake, we'll actually come back here to fix them up so now let's run our project and um let's text run our project um sorry before we text run we're going to initialize uh, we're going to initialize our application because we've created a method that we actually initialize the 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 where is it to actually initialize 
to create the directory with this init here so we're going to put this init in our main method here to actually um, create the directory where the application is run so for that we're going to um, implement the command um, line runner and then we're going to hot enter and implement the method here and then we're just going to call so for that we're going to have we're going to take um we're going to need the object of our our file service right this one here we'll say file service like so and let's say it's gonna be finer let's make it finer and uh, this one is going to be um yeah so this one is going to be at resource at resource from no come on this is going to be at resource this one here from yeah just here then we're going to we're going to um so for this we're going to what we're going to do we're going to inject this through the constructor right we're going to inject this through the constructor but meanwhile meanwhile um we don't want to we don't want any constructor here so for that i'm going to remove this final here so we just remain like this so um what i'm just going to do here because I just need this one to just call we're just going to call a method through that so we don't need to inject anything in the constructor so now we just want to say we just want to say file upload service dot init right so this one is going to create the directory if the directory has not been created before if the directory does not exist so this one is going to actually create it just like what we have defined here this one here we have done everything here already so now before we run i remember something again so before we run it we're going to actually open up our all right so before we run we're going to actually open up our property files to to set the ports the port um the port the server port and some limits to our files that we're going to be uploading so you can see that our service our property file is empty because we are not working with the, with the database so this is just what we need here right so having done this now we're going to actually test run our project and see what we got so far so let's run it all right so we can see that our project has started running um so let's let me close this down and if we look here we see that a new directory has been created here here we have the uploads directory has been created here so let's actually go to a postman to to issue a new request so for here i'm just going to say um this is similar so i'm just going to say um files slash what is the what is the api to the endpoint to upload files so this one is going to be um here um where is the controller the controller here this is the controller so this one is the upload the upload files right so i'm going to copy this and go back to postman and actually um just paste it here and we are going to change this to post here post request and then we're going to go to the body and form data so remember last time the path the param is file the request param is file and um, here we're just going to make it file and i'm going to go here to actually um upload a document so let's open up this so i'm going to open this uh, i20 stuff um then now i'm going to have this again um, we're going to remember we're, we're loading multiple files right so here i'm going to have um another document from here documents and uh, let's say um, job advert assignment and i'm going to have another one here so this one is going to be um let's find another document to upload so this one is going to be um cv right let's say cv okay so let's upload and see what we got 
all right so we see success wow so now we see that um we are able to upload everything successfully now this is number one um, number one document this is number two document and this is number three um document right so now let's actually find let's issue another request let's copy this one here and um issue another request just paste it here so to get all file we just say oh was it all files i forgot last time all files maybe so let's take a look to get all files from our database we say oh my gosh <laughs> we have not we didn't do this i forgot so here let's have um it's a guest mapping uh, get mapping so let's have this so we're just going to say all files but now we're going to restart our application again oh my gosh okay um it happens like that from our daily code work in the office you know it happens like that every time you forget something sometimes it's part of the system <laughs> right okay um so what we're just going to do here is to rerun our application and uh, see what the new changes so here we see that our application has started again so um let's go back to let's go back to postman and actually um before then let's actually let's check our system directory here the upload here so we see that the three the three files we uploaded is here the three files are here already right that we uploaded from postman so let's go to postman and actually fetch these three files so now this one is get and so let's hit send and see if we can get all the files back cool so now we actually get back all the files so the file name the url name url name url right so now let's try to get but we didn't we made a mistake here we didn't validate the name of the files so here we have invalid names of files so right now if we try to get this one now we cannot get the file because it's going to break you see the name is broken but because now if we if i hit send now we're not going to get any file because there's no file in our system called jobs we only have job advert system assignment right but because here we didn't validate now so there is there are, there are space where what is it so there are white spaces in between so these are separate words so these names are not valid these names are not valid but this one is valid so if we try to get this one right now i think this one should work so let's actually get this file by name so let's hit on send and you see we get okay and we actually get the bytes the, the the form data this is the bytes right now this one right now we can just create a front end um we create our front end for this back end right with any, any technology we want maybe like react angular um view next anyone we just want to use in our front end we can actually create our front end and use any document viewer to actually um, um display this this uh, this file and view exactly how the file uh, is right so this one here um, we can see that we have successfully gotten a file by name and we have successfully uploaded multiple files and we have successfully gotten every files from our system right so which means we have met our demo requirements right so let's go back to here um like i said you can take a step further you can step instead just take a step further to validate the names so the name should the, the file name should not contain space so this one so these names are invalid right they are invalid we cannot get them back so at least it should have underscores or it should, or it should have hyphen right like that to join them together so you can just take a step of um, a bold step of faith to actually um validate just go here here this is the method that that is actually doing the saving the job of saving the the files so here you can actually validate in this method you can actually validate the file names that to remove white space to make sure it doesn't contain um any invalid characters or white space before submitting right so that we don't submit any file with invalid name in our directory okay so um this one actually brings us to the end of today's demo uh, like i said um our goal of the demo today is not to use database is to save them to our system directory but if you want to save your your your, your files in the database uh, i think there's a video i got a video in this channel that will actually give you an insight on how to upload files 
with Spring Boot to database, MySQL database, right? So you can just I will link it. I will leave this link that that link below this video, so that you can actually, if you want to save your file to database, you can actually go through um, that process to actually save your file to database, right? It, it works. So um, thank you so much for being around, and I really appreciate. Um, please um, don't forget to like my videos if you like it, and. Um, um, if you have any comments, don't really for, don't um, don't hesitate to drop it on the comment section. And also, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and um, don't forget to introduce your friends and um, introduce my channel to your friends. Thank you so much for being here, and uh, I'm really happy to see you again in our subsequent video. And um, happy coding! Goodbye.